My Cool Inventions, where you vote to make or break an inventor's dream. With your hosts, ACOS, the solutionist, and John Cremans, the doctor of shopology. Now, here's John and ACOS. Well, you got ACOS. You haven't got John today. John, he's on the road. He's uh, out there propagating all of our inventors' inventions and all kinds of partners that we have out there. He's his turn to be on the road. Last week, I was on the road to the UK at QVC and also in QVC Germany, where I had a Today Special Value with the S2O Stain Remover Kit. And this morning, we were on HSN. Actually, we've been on HSN every single day this week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and of course, today, this morning, and I was out selling another inventor's idea, the 18-in-1 tool. Oh my goodness gracious, you got to see that thing. It's got a hatchet. It's got a hammer. It's got a saw. It's everything for $20 bill. It's a great gift for everybody. Go to hsn.com and look at the 18-in-1 tool. That's a great item for Christmas, all that kind of stuff. And this is the show, <clears throat> if you just tuned in, that we feature an American inventor every single day of the week. We interview them, we listen to their journey, and they pitch their product to you guys, and you guys listen to the pitch, and you vote. Thumbs up or thumbs down. You're the focus group. It's like American Idol meets Shark Tank, except we're not the sharks. You guys are. How do you vote? You go to mycoolinventions.com, and you click on the vote button, and uh, you do thumbs up or thumbs down. You can see the Daily Inventor there. You can read all about it. You can cast your vote there. Or if you're on Facebook, if you're out in the boat like my kids, on that smart media there, your smartphone, go to My Cool Inventions Facebook page. Awesome, awesome page there. Keep up to all, all the up to date on all the inventors' news and stuff. And there you can see the pitch. We always put it up there, the 60-second pitch, and then you can vote thumbs up or a thumbs down. Yesterday we had the uh, the brushy ball, which is kind of a cool thing. It was an invention for brushing teeth for the kids. Uh, it had a really cool idea. It had little lights and stuff. It engages the kid, keeps the kid brushing for a couple minutes. It's kind of like my, I got a brawn toothbrush there and my dentist always tells me that I should uh, do it for two minutes. And the brushy ball is the kid's version, but it's really cute. It's got yellow and red and lights and flashing and stuff. And it's an award-winning invention. I think he's got a real winner there for a $30 bill. Uh, teach your kids how to brush their teeth a little bit longer and a little bit better every single day. And today we have another inventor. Before we get started with today's inventor, I want to tell everybody how to get on the program because a lot of people, they say, how do you get onto your program? Well, just at HSN this morning and I was in the green room and a couple people came up to me and goes, we hear your program. We love it. You, know, you and a quarter million people listen to it every day. And now that we're on television, on Roku TV and on Android and, and all that kind of stuff on Facebook Live, on YouTube and everywhere and 53 radio stations around. People want to know how to get on the program. It's easy. You go to mycoolinventions.com, mycoolinventions.com, hit the submit button and you a couple questions there, some pictures and Bob's your uncle. Next thing you know, you're in front of our crew. Our crew decides, get you on the program, but make sure you do a good pitch because, you know, we always have more inventors than we have in uh, days more inventors than we have days of the week. So we always pick what we think is the best entertaining and the nicest one and people who done the less effort, pictures and videos and stuff like that. And then we'll get you on the program. You don't have to come here. We, we broadcast live from Invention One Studios here across the street from HSN. We're just actually, if you look at my office window, you can see the tower, the big HSN logo. You can actually walk over there. And uh, we're right here. You don't have to come here. We do it by Skype. You see people Skype in and then you can do your pitch and stuff. It's a good pitch. And we don't charge anything for that. Like uh, most of the inventors you hear here are on for free and uh, just a good way to promote your product and get your idea out there and put it in front of our viewer and our listening audience to vote. We want you to vote, vote, vote. If you're on Facebook Live, we want you to comment right there by the comment section there. Tell us you like us, throw us a happy face, throw us a big heart or whatever you do on Facebook. We always love your feedback. Today's inventor, oh my goodness gracious, you know, I got to tell you, when my uh, I was growing up, uh, diapers were all disposable. And I know my mom, she used to have uh, regular diapers because we were come from a poor family. And I guess back then, cotton diapers, I remember the house, those are the best cloths too. My goodness gracious, my, my mom had them for years, even after the kids grew up. The best cleaning cloths, the most softest, gorgeous cotton. And I guess uh, people are, this is this trend is back. People are using regular diapers again. And thank goodness for that because the landfills are full of diapers. And you want to stop that because, you know, we're environmentally friendly. We're conscious about that, the sustainable environment. Uh, don't throw out your diapers. Use regular ones. The trouble with that is it always poses the challenge and the problem of what do you do with a dirty diaper? Well, today's inventor, Aisha from uh, Texas, is on the line here. Uh, Aisha, welcome to the program. Hi, thanks for having me. So I got this feeling when you invented the, what you call it, the diaper dog uh, diaper sprayer, right? The spray collar. I bet, spray collar. I bet you you're a mom. Oh, yes. 
Because it would be weird for an inventor to be inventing things for dirty diapers who wasn't a mom. Uh, exactly. They, they, you know, they say that uh, necessity is the mother of all inventions. Necessity. So, I'm a mother. <laughs> so, so how many kids do you have? How many kids have you got? I've got two boys. One is four. One is two. Two year old and a four year old. That sounds like an active household. We got a three year old kicking around. I can't imagine two of them running around. My gosh. I bet you you learned at an early age that one plus one as a mother does not equal two. Exactly. <laughs> you know what they say? Boys are just uh, noise with dirt on them. Boys are noise with dirt on them. Love it. I got to use that. Boys are noise with dirt on them. So you came up with Tell everybody about your invention. What is your invention all about? Okay, so what the spray collar is, it, it's a, a shield that goes over a diaper sprayer, and what it does, it acts as a barrier between um, the water, uh, the force of the water hitting the diaper, kind okay. of splattering all over the place. So, so it's a shield. So the diaper sprayer. Now, tell me about diaper sprayers, because as as a guy who has, I mean, like my kids are thirty and twenty eight. So as a guy, uh, actually, I should say thirty one and twenty nine now. They would shoot me. Oh, there it is. I got a picture of it. On, oh, there, the diaper sprayer. So where do you get the diaper sprayer from? I guess people hook that up to their toilets and stuff. Where do you get the, the, di the di diaper sprayer? Yeah, so bas basically in the cloth diaper community, a diaper sprayer is just a toilet bidet. Okay. Um, and they're used a lot in Europe to kind of clean yourself instead of using toilet paper. Right. But here in the U.S., um, cloth diaper companies have remarketed it to, to be called a diaper sprayer. Uh, so instead of, you know, when you have to wash your cloth diapers, when you have to put the, the solids, throw the solids away, you just spray it down the toilet and flush it, uh, you know, like any other. So, so okay, so what? So your invention goes on the diaper sprayer and it sort of keeps all that bacteria and stuff down to a minimum so when you're spraying and cleaning your diaper, it, 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 you do it more efficiently? Exactly. So these diaper sprayers are very, they're very powerful. So once you have the stream of water hitting the, the diaper, it kind of kicks back up at you and, and splatters all over the, the floor, the toilet okay. seat, and it can get a little bit messy. All right. So how long, have you, how long has it been since you invented this? So how long have you been working on it? Uh, I think I invented it about two years ago. I, I had my business for about three. I started with finger guards, um, and then I naturally went into... Uh, the sprayer shields when I realized how popular diaper sprayers were getting. Right. So you invented the shield. Okay, cool. So here's what we're going to do. We always do this every single day. We give you 60 seconds to pitch it. This is the pitch of your lifetime. You get 60 hot seconds to pitch it. And everybody listening, everybody watching our program today, we want you to vote. And here's how you vote. You go to mycoolinventions.com. MyCoolInventions.com, that logo right behind me, .com. You hit the vote button. We put all the collateral up there, videos, all that kind of stuff up there. And you vote thumbs up or thumbs down. Is it a winner? Is it a $100 million idea? Or is it a loser? You decide. You choose. Or if you're on Facebook, what you do is you go to the Facebook page of My Cool Inventions Facebook page. And right there, every single day, we put the one-minute pitch up there. You can listen to the inventor, hear the pitch over and over again if you like, and make your decision to vote thumbs up or thumbs down your choice there and it's all up to the inventor to, to convince us that this is the next hundred million dollar idea hey sure you're ready to give us your best pitch of your whole life i'm ready all right let's do it you got any ideas i have a great idea pitch it to me pitch it pitch it to me hey i got an idea well let's hear it here's the problem what do you do with the poo so you've got a new baby and you're trying claw diapers before you wash them that poop needs Flush down the toilet with a diaper sprayer. But well, once you wrap that baby up, you've got crap splattered all over your bathroom floor. Diaper Dog makes cloth diapering more sanitary with less hassle. The spray color keeps crappy water inside the toilet bowl where it belongs. It's the only cloth diaper sprayer shield that fits in the palm of your hand, needs no storage or repeat installation, and does not aerate bacteria like other open-ended shields. Look, there's more to parenthood than diapers. Save time, save money, and save the environment when you choose cloth. Get your spray cloth for only $16.95 at diaperdogs.com. That's D-A-W-G-S dot com. And now that you've heard my pitch, you can go to mycoolinventions.com and vote thumbs up for cleaning crap in a snap. <laughs>
make or break an inventor. Be our shark and vote. Be bold and submit your product. What the heck? You could only make millions. Hundreds of thousands of people on the radio, they're driving their cars around and they're going, did that woman just say clean crap in his nap? <laughs> ah, they're all looking at the radios going, holy moly, what am I listening to? I'll tell you what you're listening to, an awesome innovator, an awesome inventor, the mother of invention, a mother of two, a two-year-old and a four-year-old, learning and dealing with their problems and solving the problem for other mothers out there. Great pitch. i got to tell you, Subnation, that was a fantastic pitch. You set up the problem in a very graphic way and set up the solution for us. And you gave us the price, the $16.99. You told us to go to diaperdogs.com, which is a great thing. And if you're a mom, listen, face it, you got to deal with these things every single day. Uh, I know, I know I, we're, we, we have uh, our niece living with us right now, three-year-old. She gives us Summer, her name's Summer, all kinds of fun and excitement in the house. They're visiting for a couple months. And let me tell you, these are problems. And, and you've got a great solution. And I want everybody to vote. This is a really important thing. Go vote, okay? Or if you're watching the Facebook live stream right now, throw us a big happy face. Throw us a happy face or a heart or something that you like it or not. And we want you to vote by going to mycoolinventions.com, mycoolinventions.com. Hit the vote button, thumbs up or thumbs down. Facebook, go to Facebook right now, My Cool Inventions Facebook page and vote. This is really important because this is a focus group and we're, we're sponsored by HSN we're, and a lot of buying teams watch us. In fact, we were just at a trade show with John. In fact, he's out there with one of our customers right now. It's shocking how many people are paying attention. The biggest catalog companies, the biggest retailers, the biggest live shopping channels, the biggest internet retailers, they're all paying attention to us. We field phone calls all day long about, hey, how do I get that product on my distribution channel? Let me tell you something, this vote's really important, so get out there and vote. And if you're an inventor, today's Newsletter Tuesday, you're going to get your magazine shortly. Don't forget to sign up at MyCoolInventions.com. Welcome back. You're tuned into the My Cool Inventions Network. We have an inventor from Texas, Asia, with the diaper dog. Let me tell you. It's 7.19 in the morning in Texas when we're doing this program right now. She's up and at them early. And the one thing I want to tell you, millionaires... They're always early birds. I have not met any of my anybody I know who's a millionaire or a hundred millionaire who isn't up at the crack of dawn in the morning. And let me tell you, that, that's a common trait. So if you're an inventor and entrepreneur out there, let me tell you a little common thing is there. Get up. Get up in the morning. Get your day going. My goodness, I've got people at 719. They're halfway through their day. Um, I guess what time do I get up in the morning? I know Johnny, John is up here really early. He's up at 3.34 because his wife works and he's up there. He's in the office normally by 5.30. I guess the last few days because I've been filling in for him and I've been on HSN. Not my, my, I guess my mornings have started at 3.30 every morning. Uh, it, it calls for an early evening, but you get you going. Right, Aisha? You got to get up and going and get get the, get the what, what do you say, have a hustle sandwich with your coffee, right? Exactly, and I'm always up anyway because I have to take my boys to school. Uh, you know, I love the fact that you're a mom. And let me tell you something. Mom inventors are the hottest growing category in America right now. Mom inventors. And, and you're a typical mom inventor. So, so do, you, do you belong to any groups or any kind of uh, invention clubs that are mom inventors? Uh, I, I'm in one Facebook group. Uh, and then I'm in a few others, but those are a good mix of both uh, men and women. Oh, good. So the fa which, I guess which Facebook group do you belong into, if you don't mind me asking? It's called uh, Mom Pact. Mom Pact. Yeah, Mom Pact. But it's a uh, it's a uh, it's not an open group. It's I think it's on private. Okay. And I think you have to ask. You have to get in by referral only, and then the the admin will kind of review your product and let you in. Do you think? Do you think like uh, we would qualify for the referral process? Um, maybe she's pretty. Uh, <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's pretty, pretty tough. Open I, I mean, there there's it's mostly women in there, but I'm know. sure she would let in a few fathers. We, no, we have women's here too. We have, you know, Mary Beth and stuff. She handles all our inventors and stuff. You know, we're sponsored by HSN. I always, we're always trying to help out. Uh, people who uh, who want to get the propagate their product. Let's talk about you marketing your product. Now I got one in my hand here. So you, you sent us one. Uh, so you've got the hose in here. You've got the, the the whole whole kit and caboodle right here in my hand. So you, I, obviously you're making them, right? Uh, yes, I'm making the the actual spray collar and then okay. the diaper sprayer. I've partnered. I partnered with a company. So we sell the spray collar separately because there are. Uh, there are mothers who have already bought their own diaper square. Okay. And so we fit a wide uh, 
range of diaper sprayer brands, but then in case they don't have a diaper sprayer, we also bundle the spray collar uh, with our own diaper sprayer. All right. So, and how and how many have you made so far? Uh, wow. Uh, oh, that's a good answer. That means you made a lot. You made a lot of them. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, I, I, I can't. I, I really don't count these things. I guess I should have. So, no, so, so obviously you're selling them. You're selling quite a bit of them. Then. Oh, yes. Yeah. So I, I have uh, three channels. I, I have direct to my website, then I have Amazon, and okay. then I also have a distributor. So how do you find Amazon? Do you think Amazon's a great way to go? I think Amazon is a great way to go. In fact, I wish I could have been on Amazon earlier, but... When I tried to sign up, I think the interface was a little bit intimidating for me, and then I kind of backed off of it. Uh, but once you get once you uh, get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. And I now I recommend everyone to get on Amazon as quickly as possible. So you do, you handle it yourself because you know in our business we actually have partners up in New York who handle our Amazon business because I always try to go with the guys who know best, right? Is it is it mm -hmm. so so I I know what you're talking about intimidating. I look, first looked at it, I go, we need to get a professional here who really knows what's going on. Um, and, and of course, you know, we do millions of dollars on Amazon now, uh, but as a, as a private individual and an entrepreneur, so you found it intimidating. Um, so what parts of it did you sort of need to get over? And once you got over it, uh, I guess it went smoothly. So what's, well, I guess what's the hardest part of Amazon? Uh, it's just the interface is very wordy and very clunky, and uh, it's, it's not as a smooth experience. And, and that kind of like set me off because I'm very tech savvy. Uh, but I, I just held off for, for whatever reason. But I think once you upload one product onto Amazon, it's pretty easy now. Now I can go through and create a fulfillment order without even looking at the options. I've, oh, cool. I've memorized it. All right, that's awesome. And you have a distributor also. So the distributor goes to what kind of stores, like baby stores? And I guess where do they sell yes. diapers? Because well, where do they sell cloth diapers? Uh, mostly cloth diapers are in uh, small online boutiques, so that's that's where my distributor focuses at. Uh, there, there's only one brand of cloth diapers in Bye Bye Baby, right. and a few in Costco. But as far, as far as big box goes, you won't see a lot of cloth diapers. Um, other than Target, I think Target's getting on the bandwagon with their own with their own line of cloth diapers. Um, but you'll mostly find it in online stores. All right, so, so so what's the end game for you? So you're an inventor, you've got all kinds of money tied up in this, obviously effort and, and pride and passion, and, and you, you've dedicated part of your life to this invention. So what's the end game? So where does Aisha say, okay, I've won, I did it, that's my goal. What, 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 I guess what line do you have to cross before you say, hey, I was successful with that. So what's the end game? Uh, well, I really like to expand my own line uh, to include uh, – Actually, cloth diapers. I've been, I, I've kind of branded myself as a cloth diaper accessory company, but okay. I think I'd really like to go into actually making cloth diapers. Even though the market is really saturated, I think I, I can make uh, something really unique. I've, I've partnered with a diaper brand and I've come out with my own custom print that everyone loves. So I think if I were to go into making my own diapers, I'd be really successful at it. So if somebody came to you, okay, I'm going to phrase it another way. All right, I got a checkbook here. I'm going to write you a check for the whole thing. All, you're out of the business. I'm going to trade you a check for your business. How much is the check? Uh, uh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, okay. So here's, here's I'm, going to get, I'm going to let you out of the question. So here's what you do. You okay. always, I tell every business person, every entrepreneur, every inventor, every day. Always know your exit strategy every day you're doing it. Now, your exit strategy could move. The number could get higher, right? If the more success, the right. more time passes, you get higher. I always have, you know, I got to tell you something. If uh, I have an inventor, I, have, I, I give personal experience. My laundry sheets, okay, laundry sheets. Someone, that's a big item. We've sold over 200 million loads of laundry with it. If someone were to come up with, with $6 million, right now, $6 million, you got the patent. It's all yours. I'm out. So I always tell people, always have an exit strategy. If, if you're a business person, you're listening on the radio, you're watching the program, you're an inventor, an entrepreneur, always know your price out. Because I'll tell you something, isn't that the goal? Is it, or, or maybe you're just looking for a job and a pastime, and that's a whole different game, a whole different ball of wax. But if you have an asset, 
you're like a venture capitalist. You're starting small and you want to get big and you want to cash out. So next time somebody asks you that question, we'll check back with you one day. And we want you to be able to say $6 million, just like that, off the top of your head. And move it up and down every day, but always know how to get out. Don't ever enter a business if you don't know, how, if you don't know exactly what it takes to get you out of it. Okay, so yeah. I know I've always really thought that I was building a legacy for my kids and that I would not have an extra strategy, but that's oh. a good point. I should start thinking about that. Well, you know what? You could always take that money and build another legacy. <laughs> you know, <Yeah. laughs> it's, you could do that all day long. Hey, listen, you are wonderful. I got to say, so you are you epitomize the American dreamer. You epitomize the American inventor. You're what makes America great because it's all about innovation and invention, and that's what America does really well. In fact, does it the best in the world. And when I talk to people like yourself, Asia from Texas at seven nineteen in the morning, I know you've got the spirit. I know you've got the heart. I know you got what it takes because you're up in the morning and you're obviously really successful and I only wish you the best 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 and I want everybody to vote for her I'm gonna give her a big thumbs up you know big thumbs up from me go to mycoolinventions.com vote maybe give them a thumbs up too if you like or thumbs down whatever you like I don't want to sway you in any way and if you're on Facebook go to the my cool inventions Facebook page and vote there Asia God bless you and thank you so much for being on the program may those kids of yours grow up to be huge successes and make you would be proud of them the whole life and make sure you get your exit strategy make sure you know what it takes to get that check and live your life happily ever after thanks for being on the program well you heard from asia and if you're an inventor what are you waiting for get on our program get on our program go to mycoolinventions.com right now submit your invention who knows maybe you have the next hundred million dollar idea